Hi, um, I'm Dr. Rachel Smith Bolton. I'm a, an assistant professor here in the Department of Cell and Developmental Biology, and I co-teach MCB 410 with Dr. Phil Newmark. Uh, MCB 410 is developmental biology. So developmental biology is basically it is the study of how any living organism goes from a single cell to a full adult or mature organism and all of that entails from those very first early subtle divisions to setting up the body axis of the embryo, what's the head or the anterior, what is posterior, what's right, what's left, what's dorsal, what's ventral, how we set up the body axis to how we subdivide it into different parts of the body, how do we put the different parts of the body in the right place, so you grow an arm where an arm should be, a leg where a leg should be. And then even finer detail, how do we actually grow an arm? How do we form it? How does it get to the right length? How do we get all our digits in the right place? Um, everything that we know and that we've learned about how we as animals develop, a lot of that we've learned from studying model organisms like fruit flies and the worm C. elegans and mice and chicks and frogs. And so we use those studies in model organisms to uh, teach what it is that we know about how we develop. What kind of background knowledge does the student need to take this course? So the prerequisites for the course are MCB 250 and 252, which will give you a basic introduction into genetics, developmental biology, signal transduction, and cell biology so that you can understand a lot of the concepts that we talk about. We put those things together into uh, looking at the higher order processes of development. We also have um, the biochemistry class, it's MCB 354, as a prerequisite as well, although if you have a strong foundation without taking that class, you can talk to one of us and get permission for How do topics covered in your course apply to current research, medical, or scientific advancements? Wow, so the, the area of developmental biology is just a fascinating area of science right now, but beyond just the basic science and the curiosity of wanting to know how it is we grow and develop, um, understanding how we properly grow and develop helps us understand what's going on when things go wrong. Um, when you have birth defects, when you have problems with the development and what we can do to try to correct those or um, assist development either nutritionally or through intervention so that birth defects and things like that don't happen. We also have learned a lot about processes such as growth control from understanding growth control and development. And if you think about uh, illnesses such as cancer, that is aberrant growth control. Your body's not able to control the way those cells are growing properly. And by studying the way growth is properly controlled during development, we can understand what's going wrong in different cancers. Um, another area where the study development is very, very useful is this exciting new field of regenerative medicine. So understanding how body parts grow to begin with, how they can regenerate after they've been damaged. There are animals that can regenerate limbs and the lens of the eye and other tissues that can regrow. And if we can understand how that happens, we can take what we learn and apply it to the field of regenerative medicine where people are trying to engineer scaffolds and seed stem cells and try to regrow structures and tissues and body parts to help with healing and with regeneration after damage and after illness. So we learn the basics and then the engineers take what we learn and apply it to the medical context. Okay, what other classes in MCB will go well with the content you are teaching? So uh, a lot of the experiments that have been done to understand development and growth uh, were done in model organisms that are genetically tractable. So our, our class really goes well with classes uh, where you learn some of those genetic techniques. So there is a more introductory level genetics class, it's uh, MCB 317, and there's an upper level genetics and genomics class, which is MCB 493 GGA, and I teach part of that one as well. Um, and it's sort of, you learn uh, the process and how to study and how to learn and how to do these experiments. I think it also goes well with MCB 400, which is cancer cell biology. It takes it the next step, you know, how do things go wrong and how, do, how does illness form when developmental processes are misregulated. Uh, and I think it also can be a great class for students who are interested in doing research in laboratories. So MCB 290 and 492, which is the senior thesis, is a really good introduction to experimental science and what we can do, and, and you can take what you learn in this class and work in a lab that does have a developmental biology focus um, and, and pursue your own interests that way.
Um, and what should a student do if he is having trouble with your course? Come to office hours. Come and see us. Um, Dr. Newmark and I both hold office hours. We love to see students come and ask questions. Students have very good questions. This is also the first year in 410 where we've had a uh, mandatory section. So we have TAs that lead sections. And that's a great place. Sometimes we'll talk about something in lecture that's a fairly complicated concept and it takes some time to really think it through and absorb it and understand it. And section is a good time to sit down and talk to other students in the TA about exactly how it works, walk through it again, and really try to understand it and ask a lot of questions there.